Art is used as a medium to express stories and emotions the way words sometimes can't. I'm Eliana Capellan in Valencia, where local LA artists are participating in Sepequa, the first day of the dead celebration at CalArts in over 30 years. How this once historic blue wall on campus has transformed into a colorful canvas and immersive art exhibit celebrating Dia de los Muertos. A version of Dia de los Muertos was first celebrated on campus in 1988, back when Jose Antonio Aguirre was a student on campus. We were just 30 students with a Latino, what they were saying, Hispanic, so with the Hispanic only. And because we were just three students, you know, Mexican national. And, and, you know, so seeing that it was very, we can put it that way, you know, very white in that sense. You know. So we need to bring something to really start knowing. Noticing that Cal Arts was a predominantly white campus, Jose created the Day of the Dead event as a symbol of representation. Today, Pablo de la Raniaga Aramoni is in his third year at Cal Arts, and similarly to Jose, he saw a need for not only representation, but also for an understanding of authentic Mexican culture. Sipequa started with me wanting to go out to my community of artists, Cal Arts, and just wanting them to learn about the experiences that Mexican people go through in life in a way and also just like finding a place in which the stories that matter to me a lot can be told. The focal point of this year's Dia de Muertos event was the Monarch Butterfly Wall Mural. In Mexico after the revolution, murals were used as a way to educate the public on history through a visual medium instead of a literary one since many commoners couldn't read at the time. LA native and first generation Mexican American muralist Marlene Solorio was approached by Pablo with the idea of transforming the historic Cal Arts blue wall that had never been touched before. Um, for this one, Pablo actually came to me with the design, but we had already discussed beforehand like, oh, what it was going to be. And um, he told me about the, the butterfly, so the monarch butterfly. There's a symbolism during these days is that uh, the souls are returning back home. So we wanted to, you know, bring that, incorporate that in the, in the, in the mural. And also in a way, it's also symbolism just for the school in general. It just happened because this is a huge change. And, and it's like that metamorphosis of what's going on. Great metamorphoses are often met with great challenges. Painting the blue wall hadn't been done in over 50 years, so naturally Pablo and his team were faced with opposition from the administration. But once he explained the cultural and historical importance of murals in Mexico, he received approval for Marlene to lead students in creating the temporary mural. Each stroke of her paintbrush on the wall was an opportunity to share her culture from Michoacán. We are from uh, Michoacán, which is where uh, the Purépechas uh, indigenous community lives. And uh, Sipeco is actually a Purépecha term, meaning alegría y vida. Alegría y vida translates into joy and life, which fully encompasses the ritual celebration of Dia de Muertos. Although it's a holiday brought on by the death of loved ones, their return is seen as a joyous family reunion. But more than that, Dia de Muertos is something which can be shared across many cultures. We can all relate to the life and death of different people from different cultures. Um, no matter where we come from, we all end up in the same place, which is bones that uh, end up becoming new life in our planet. For Pablo and other artists involved in this event, the goal of putting together this Dia de Muertos experience was to share and spread the narrative of the celebration without appropriation or commercialization of the Mexican culture, keeping the ritual authentic and educating the community of the true meaning behind Dia de Muertos, while adding a creative and immersive element which made history and inspired change on the once blue wall at CalArts.